Spanish are strudel. As you've probably figured out by now, I'm the Nurse Diesel, and I'm here today to discuss these events that are happening at Best Products. These shoplifting events that are costing you and me time and money. We're dealing with dangerous people here. Dangerously sick people. And we have to learn how to control these people. You think that you don't have any part in this activity, but you're just as much a part of it as the rest of us. So you have to learn how to spot these people and know what to do when you spot them. Now I'm going to discuss some of the things that you're going to have to do. So you have to pay close attention to me. And I don't know why you wouldn't want to. So, we're going to get started into the activities that you need to pay close attention to. And I won't try to be too harsh on you. Pay attention. I know you will. Know the security pages. Seventy-five for toys. Seventy-four for sporting goods. Seventy-three for cameras. Seventy-two for jewelry. Seventy-one for houseware. Stop. This is the kind of activity that I've been talking about. Get off it. Do you think no one saw that? Do you think that? What do you think that is? Where did that come from? The sky? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the kind of thing that I've been telling you about. A person may come in, appear to be very nonchalant, about these kinds of things. Grab a book, put it in an extra size bag as this, and try to walk off. Maybe she'll even be wearing sunglasses next time. Now you need to be hard with these people. They can be very dangerous, as I've said before. Now, the first thing you should do in a situation like this is not to do what I just did. That's only for the nurse. You get on your phone and you call security. And they'll come around and it's their job to do this. Because I'm sure that you live for bondage and discipline. So let them take care of it. Don't want this ever happen in your store. It's costing you time and money. I'm sure you wouldn't ever do it. I know. Unfortunately, the rate of shoplifter recovery is very slim. They'll try anything in the book, including this commonly known trick. So don't let them rain on your parade. You can put anything you want in an umbrella. Be on the alert for extra large umbrellas. Umbrellas when it's not raining and people who don't carry them like this. Soldier style. Now, I'm sure you're going to be on the lookout for these things. Don't let it happen. I'm sure you won't. I know. other things we need to discuss. The first
first thing is patrolling the aisle. You have to walk up and down the aisles occasionally and watch out for people who look suspicious. As we've said before, look for large bags, sunglasses to disguise, the personage, umbrellas when it's not raining, or even when it is raining. And you also have to look for people who walk around with little things like this. Very easy to put in your pocket. Watch out for that. A couple of other things we need to do. You need to listen carefully. Listen for people who don't really know what they're doing. Sorry I'm disturbed, but you have to pay more attention. Make sure that the fact tags are amply secured. And make sure that little things like this are patrolled at all times. And make sure that the merchandise is on the security system so that you can't pick it up quickly. Take it home. Now I hope that you've understood these things. I'm sure you have. And I'm sure that you won't let these things happen. I know. You're just about to ask me if you have to be a private investigator instead of an employee at Best Products. You're right. You have to be on the alert for everything and anything, including the old trick in the book. Dashing merchandise for later stealing. It works almost every time, except at best products, when the employees are watching for these things. This can happen with anything, taking something from one department and putting it in another department where it doesn't belong. Yes, you have to be a private investigator in addition to being an employee. Now, you do not go up to these people and slap them around because they need discipline and bondage. You call the security numbers and they will take care of the problem. Now, I'm sure that you're not going to try this trick. I know. There's one thing that you need to remember, and this is very important, that you represent the Institute of Best Products. It is important that you do your job to the fullest extent, like I myself do the job to the fullest extent. If these people think that they can get away with stealing the merchandise, then it is your job to make sure that this does not happen. You know, as I have said earlier, what to do in these situations. And I'm sure that you will not let this happen ever, ever again. I don't think you do. I know you.